Emanita muscaria or fly agaric is the most iconic mushroom in the world. You have seen it in fairy tale, video games and holiday cards, but Amanita muscaria is far more fascinating than its cartoon image. Here are some scientific facts about this legendary fungus that might just change the way you see this mushroom. One of the most fascinating traits of Amanita muscaria is its ability to form a mutualistic partnership with trees, known as mycorrhiza. In this association, the fungus wraps its hyphae around fine tree roots and weaves a network between root cells. This structure, called the heartic net, is where nutrients are exchanged. The tree provides sugars, while the fungus supplies water and essential material like nitrogen. Amanita muscaria forms these connections with a wide variety of trees, from broad-leaved species like birch, oak, chestnut and cistus, to conifers like spruce, fir and pine. This flexibility helps it thrive in diverse forest ecosystems across the temperate and boreal zones of the northern hemisphere. Because it depends on this symbiosis to produce fruiting bodies, Amanita muscaria cannot form mushrooms at lab conditions without a tree host. It can grow as a slow developing mycelium on artificial media, but not much beyond that. The mushroom usually appears in acidic nutrient poor soils, coniferous and deciduous forests where nitrogen is present but difficult for plants to absorb. Through its mycorrhizal link, Amanita muscaria enhances nitrogen uptake, especially in the form of ammonium, using specialized transporters. In this way, the fungus not only gains from the relationship, but plays a crucial role in helping trees thrive in challenging soils. Amanita muscaria is widespread across the northern hemisphere, from the forests of Siberia to alpine meadows and temperate woodlands. Yet, despite its broad range, population shows surprisingly little genetic variation, a testament to its efficient spore dispersal and ecological flexibility. Its range, however, isn't limited to the north. Aminita muscaria has been unintentionally introduced to the southern hemisphere, largely through the global planting of non-native trees such as pines. It is now found in Chile, South Africa, New Zealand, Australia and even Colombia, where it was introduced during reforestation efforts. In these new environments, the fungus readily forms ectomycorrhizal associations with both introduced and native tree species. In some regions, it behaves like an invasive symbiont, potentially outcompeting local mycorrhizal fungi and altering native soil microbial communities. The name Amanita traces back to antiquity and was formally established as a genus in 1783 by the French naturalist Jean-Baptiste Lamarck. He recognized it as a distinct group of gilt mushrooms, many of which are now renowned for their striking in appearance and potent bioactive compounds. The genus name itself is thought to derive from the ancient Greek word amenitai, referring to mushrooms growing on Mount Amanos, although the exact etymology remains debated. The species name Muscaria comes from the Latin musca, meaning fly. This reflects the mushroom's traditional use as an insecticide. Across parts of Europe, particularly in Germanic and Slavic regions, people would crush the vivid red cap and soak it in milk to attract and kill flies. This folk practice gave rise to the common name fly agaric. When most people think of Emanita muscaria, they picture the classic fairy tale mushroom, a bright red cap with white warts. But in reality, this species is far more diverse. Its cap can also be yellow, orange, brown, or even white, depending on its geography, genetics, and local environmental conditions like sunlight, temperature, and soil type. Here are a few well known forms Amanita muscaria muscaria, the iconic red cap, widespread in Europe and Asia. Amanita muscaria gosavi, a yellow-orange form common in northeastern North America. Amanita muscaria formosa, golden to ochre, found in Europe and parts of Canada. Amanita muscaria alba, a rare, all-white form still poorly studied. And the last, Amanita muscaria regalis, deep brown, often found in northern Europe. Some consider it 
a separate species. Amanita muscaria is known not only for its vivid red cap, but also for containing psychoactive compounds, primarily muscimol and ibotenic acid. This can cause altered state of consciousness, hallucinations and changes in motor control in both humans and animals. Historically, this mushroom played a role in shamanistic rituals, particularly among Siberian indigenous people such as the Chokchi and Koryak. Shamans would consume Amanita muscaria to enter trance-like states during spiritual ceremonies. Fascinatingly, they also observed that reindeer were drawn to the mushroom and behaved strangely after eating it stumbling, circling or appearing dazed. This led to unique ritual practice. Rather than consuming the mushroom directly, shamans would drink the urine of intoxicated reindeer. Since the reindeer metabolized the mushrooms, more toxic components, muscimol remained active and was excreted unchanged, offering a safer and often more potent psychoactive experience. Outside of ritual use, animal interaction with Amanita muscaria are still observed today. In summer, mushrooms are often found with bite marks or even wedged into tree branches, likely by squirrels. On the other hand, domestic animals, especially dogs, are highly susceptible to the mushroom's toxic effects. There are numerous cases of pets experiencing vomiting, seizures or even death after accidental ingestion. Altogether, Amanita muscaria is more than a fairy tale mushroom. It's a complex player in forest ecosystem, cultural traditions and animal behavior, bridging chemistry and myth in one remarkable organism. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more fascinating stories about fungi.